That'd be awesome. I mean, uh, that's you know, we we start these series uh, hoping just to uh, to you know, if it's two, uh, play three games, try to win two, especially on the road. So um, to come back yesterday and, and and play the way we played and come out with a victory, it's nice to come in today knowing that we have a chance to win the series. Um, Jake Irvin on the mound for us today, so um, you know, hopefully he keeps us in the ball game and, and we score some runs. Do you think there's any? Difference in the at bats that you guys had later on in the game versus what you had earlier in the game. Yeah, I, you know, we, we, look, like I said before, if we accept our walks and not chase, we'll we'll hit the ball hard, um, and that's that's what we got to do always. And you know, we talked a lot about this spring. We worked on it. These guys need to understand that taking your walks, good things happen. Um, we saw that yesterday with, with CJ, he's able to uh, steal some bases for us. You know, because he's on base. Some of these other guys taking walks and, and, and extend long innings. So um, we got to accept them. And like I said, we got to get the ball in the zone. So with, with CJ's plate discipline, is that a case of just another year in the big leagues? Is it something that was an intentional goal for him this offseason? What did that look like? Yeah, we, talk, we talked about it with him. You know, to, to hit that next level in his, in his game is he's got to accept his walks. He's got to keep the ball in the zone. Um, you know, a walk for him is a double, maybe a triple. You know, we talk about that all the time. So, you know, for, for him just to get on base, he makes things happen for us. So uh, he's that catalyst for us up at the top top of the lineup. We got guys behind him now that can drive him in. So um, we need him to get on base. How did you get him to buy into that mantra of a oh, walk for you is really a double? I can I say bribe? No. <laughs> no, 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 I did. No, it's just a uh, it's just conversation, you know, conversation of what kind of player he could be. You know, I always talk to him about what kind of player he could be, he could be and um and and when he starts establishing that he he'll take he'll take uh take pitches and get on base, um he'll start to get a lot more balls in the zone too, which is will be good for him. Are there any players that you would point to for him that you've shown him as examples of guys that can do what he do once he draws a walk? No, but you know, it's, it was the same conversation that I had with, with with Trey Turner when he was here, right? I mean, um, I didn't mention that to him, but you know, I told him, I said, "Hey, accept your walks. You're going to be much better. You're going to get balls in the strike zone. You're going to start driving balls." Um, and Trey did that, and uh, he, you can see the kind of player he's become. So, uh, for him, he's he's got to go through the same phase. I mean, he's got to understand who he is, uh, what what he can do, and when he starts doing that, um, he's, he'll be that complete uh, ball player offensively. Um, his defense has been unbelievable too. So uh, I'm really proud of, of 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 everything he's accomplished this winter and and going to spring training. He's been he's been amazing. Joey Gallo drew a walk in the ninth. He's actually taken a lot of pitches, including some strike threes. For him, what's going to be the balance between? Trying to stay patient like that versus being more aggressive, especially with two strikes. Yeah, you know he's he's gonna get, he's gonna get his walks. Um, what I want to see him do is really be a little bit more aggressive with guys on base. Um, you know, driving runs. You know, when he comes up to a guy uh, on, on first or first or second, and you know, we, we, I want to see him hit that three-run homer. You know, uh, try to get the ball in the air because he could hit him a long way when he does. So, um, but you know, he he's one of those hitters that he understands the strike zone. He really does. Um, it's very rare that he chases. When he chases, something's got to be off with him. So, um, but you know, I'm okay with him accepting his walks. You know, that's just part of it. But I also want him to be more aggressive in the strike zone. And when he gets a pitch he thinks he could, he could launch, go ahead and let her let her rip. So, um, but you know, I love having him up there. I love the threat. You know, that he, he's got potentially could hit a home run for us. And, uh, and another guy that's, that you saw what he can do defensively. He made some unbelievable plays there yesterday. So, um, he's doing well. You talked about him kind of getting his timing back during spring training. How do you feel like it's at right now? Yeah, he's you know he's still you know he's still uh, he's getting there. I mean he's, he's still filing pitches off. I think he should be he should be driving. Um, but when you're when you're a guy like him that's a just a pure power hitter, um, you're going to go through a phase all of a sudden where you, you know you're not missing those balls, and within a week you hit five or six home runs. So um, you know we hope that he finds that here real soon. Uh, but it's going to happen. Any hesitation on your part to start Kbert behind the plate again today? No, um, he, you know he's fine. He looks good. He's worked really hard this uh, this spring to get himself ready. Um, I'm looking at some of the stuff. I hate to look ahead because I want to go one another day. But I look at some of the Pirates series, and um, I want to get you know I definitely want to get Riley Riley in there uh, one of those games, and then uh, some of these other guys get get a chance to play. So, um, but let's go one another today, and we'll figure that out after the game. With Trevor, are you guys having discussions about how to manage this this time off? Maybe what is he doing differently ahead of his start on Thursday with? A couple extra days. Yeah, he's been he's been thrown. He's through through a pretty heavy bullpen, um, so he'll you know, he'll be ready to go. Uh, same thing with, with Mac. You know, Mac had a couple extra days. Um, he threw a heavy heavy bullpen, and uh, he'll be ready to go tomorrow. 
Jake Urban, what's what's the next step for him this year? Consistency, right? I mean, attacking the strike zone, staying away from the beginnings. You know, that's that's the big thing for him. So um, he threw the ball really well at the end of spring training. So I, I told him, just build, let's build off of that. Uh, let's attack the strike zone, get ahead, and, uh, and try to finish within three or four pitches. And you don't want to read too much into, again, like spring training outings, but can you tell me more specifically what you saw from him during the spring, like in terms of his pitch mix, his, his shift, his pitches? It, it was more attacking the zone. I mean, he was, he was pounding strikes after strikes. Um, you know, I look up there, six innings, you know, 71 pitches. I mean, he, he was, he'd done really well. So, and that's what, that's what he can do when this stuff is really good. And, you know, in the spring, towards the end, he's, he's done that. So it's all about uh, throw, you know, throwing strikes, getting, getting hitters in swing mode. Uh, another guy that needs, to, you know, for me, has to keep the ball down. He, he could elevate in certain situations, but for the most part, everything works when he keeps the ball down. So um, I'm excited to watch him go out there and compete today.